Hey, what's up guys? I'm not in the studio today. Instead, I'm out in the garage installing some headers on the Genesis. Now this is a tedious job on this car, which means it takes a long time. So during that time when I'm not cussing or smashing my hands, I tend to contemplate life. So today I was thinking about a common question that I get all the time from customers and people who follow my builds and my guides. And the question is, how do I learn about cars? So this is a great question and it's really what this channel is all about. I asked this question to a friend one time back in high school. He had a really nice 69 Camaro that he had built with his dad. Now he told me that he learned by reading magazines and I didn't believe him. I thought that was ridiculous. But the next four to five years I realized that he was right. So one day I was on my lunch break and I was reading an engine building magazine and it hit me. I fully understood everything that I was reading. Now, when I first started reading magazines, I didn't know much at all, but with each new article that I read, I learned something new. And with enough time and reading, everything just started to click. I always tell people the best way to learn is to just do. Just go out and start. It's easy to get started. Now, no matter what your car is, you'll need to do some type of maintenance to it, so that's a great place to start. Learn how to change the air filter. Learn how to do an oil change. Then the spark plugs and whatever else is recommended in the service manual. Not only will your car be happier, but you'll have more confidence to do more complicated work. And of course, you'll be saving some money by not paying someone else to do that work for you. Now, just like every car uh, needs maintenance, every car also has a list of very easy to do mods, like installing an intake. Now, doing these easy mods will give you, again, more confidence to work on your own car. Just start small and work your way up to bigger jobs. As you're doing the maintenance and these easy mods, you'll also be learning at the same time. So what you're learning is that each job can seem overwhelming at first, but these things become nothing more than simply a matter of turning some wrenches once you're actually in there doing the work. When I was younger, I had an 88 Camaro with a little 2.8 V6. It made maybe 120 horsepower and it had some problems and I also wanted some more power so I started looking around and there was a 3.1 V6 available and it was a direct replacement so I decided that it was probably easy enough to try and do that engine swap. I didn't know much about cars at this time only with what I read in the magazines and beyond the basic maintenance I had zero experience but I went out and I just started taking things off the engine wires hoses accessories and so on. Now eventually I got everything off and it was just an engine block sitting in the car and then it was nothing. I took the block out and threw it away. So I just had an empty engine bay. But each piece that I removed I learned how it fit together and the more that I took off the less complicated everything looked. And an empty engine bay looks pretty simple. Now around this time I was lucky enough to have somebody who donated an 85 Camaro to me and it had a V8 in it. So I changed my plans and instead of going and installing the V6, now I had a V8 that I wanted to install. But I also wanted more power. So I spent the next three years building that V8. I learned everything about it as I went. A lot of the time was spent by lack of money, but the rest of the time was learning and wrenching. Now even though it took me a long time, I eventually got the engine in and the car drove. And let me tell you, that first test drive was so amazing. Afterwards, I felt like I could do anything at that point. Remember, I didn't know anything when I started, only that I wanted to replace that little tiny V6 with a more powerful V8. Now, my point here is that everyone starts out with zero knowledge and experience. So just start by picking a goal, be it an oil change or an engine swap. Start reading. Reading is the key. Watch videos and then read some more. Then go out and turn some wrenches. I'm not going to lie, it takes a long time. Some people have dedicated their lives to cars and still don't know everything. And that's okay. You don't need to know everything. And what you don't know, somebody else does. You just need to find those people and learn from them. Find other people who have done the things that you want to do. Read about how they did it, the problems that they encountered, how they solved those problems, and what the end results were. So what I recommend is you immerse yourself in various resources such as magazines, forums, books, and videos. Come up with a project 
write down a list of questions about that project, then start searching. Now, I don't recommend you start out by just asking those questions directly on forums or Facebook either. Spend the time searching for the answers on your own, then once you're satisfied, then you can use the forums and Facebooks to confirm what you found. And you don't need to know everything in order to get started either. You can learn as you go, assuming you're not trying to work on your daily driver, of course. But if you have the time, then learning as you go is not a bad idea because it'll allow you to be more intimate with your car. So I have a couple tips that will help you uh, while you're doing these projects. Now the first one is to make sure you have a clear plan. So an oil change is not as in-depth as an engine swap, but you still need a plan. What parts do you need? What tools do you need? Will you need a helper? Do you know where everything is on the car? An engine swap is really no different. It just requires more time spent on the planning. All right, second is to make sure you have all the parts and the tools you need before you start the job. It just makes everything so much easier. And third is take pictures of each step as you go. I'm not gonna lie, this is very time consuming, but if you ever forget where something goes, you can always refer back to the photos. And this is even more helpful when your projects take days or even months. And as a bonus, afterwards you'll have photos that you can share with other people who are trying to do the same work. And teaching others is a great way to solidify your own knowledge. All right, I hope that helps. There's really no magic pill that'll make you car smart, unfortunately. You just need to put in the time, both in the reading and the wrenching. All right, thanks for watching.